one of the themes in the development of ideas has been about working with teams. So one, one way in which um, you and others might recommend you change your disposition is to refer to a team, to work with a team. And I don't know whether you've got any um, thoughts about the, the development of teamwork over the years. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I think it's one of the most wonderful things that we've done. Mm. <coughs> Particularly, again, at the Milan systemic end, because uh, my experience with my colleagues who work more in what gets called structural strategic domains is that they mainly see it as a very useful tool for training. Yes. Um, but not so much as a pure uh, consultative process. I see it actually as a group mind process. Mm. And I think that, again, it's the Milan people who pioneer this way of working, and it's that almost dividing of the therapeutic tasks into two. Mm. So there's the therapist in the room, very much engaged in relationship and soaking themselves in what it's like to be part of this evolving system called therapist family. Mm. There's the rest of the team, literally standing back, yes. um, free to do some of the um, thinking, intellectualizing, theorizing, free association, meandering, whatever. Mm. And the therapist <coughs> holds membership of both of those systems and enacts it. It's why I still am very fond of the therapist coming behind the screen, because I think it's the enacting of double membership that's often very interesting. Mm. Um, and it's the honouring of both of those two perspectives, the therapist in the room and the team behind the screen, or even the team in the room but s sitting outside the circle. Yeah of both of those being valid points of view that enables one to begin to think in that way that, that looks at the multiverse, that, mm. uh, that doesn't get stuck on one um, particular point of view. So I feel very, very sorry, sorry and sad to see that most of our colleagues have almost no opportunity anymore mm. for economic reasons mm. to work with the team. Mm. I think one can do virtual consultation, one can do outside of the session consultation. And in your head consultation. In your head consultation. All of those things are fantastically valuable. I remember someone who was a trainee quite a long time ago, a, a wonderful therapist, and he um, had been in a team that I supervised, and so it was him, two, or two other men, and a woman who was run about my same age as well. So we were both older than he was. And afterwards, when he was working in his context, which was in a hospital, and with no teams, no room even, you know, he was seeing people in mm. wards, mm. he colonised a little broom closet, and he would go in there, <laughs> set three chairs, one for me, one for him, and one for his other woman <coughs> team member, and he'd have conversations and, and out loud and change places. <laughs> and said, he discovered his... Colleagues were standing at the door and wondering if they should call the psychiatrist. Yes. <laughs> Particularly because he was very interested in his, in 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 I, how gender relationships and relationships of power, and influence worked in therapy, and aware of himself as a man, a large man, um, in a hospital context, wearing a white coat, etc., etc. And so he constantly wanted to invite in those other points of view. And that's what he did. Yes. Excuse himself halfway through his session and go and sit in the broom closet. It's fantastic. <laughs> you know, it's possible, but I think I think that working team is is gold. And I find it interesting you saying that that because I'm thinking about reflecting teams mm. and that mm. process, which which mm. is very popular mm. in a lot of work, certainly at the yeah. Fermi Institute. But it, what what we often do at the Fermi Institute is swap rooms with the family. So mm. there is a bit of change mm. of position but but you seem to be hinting that there's something about the therapist moving to the be with the therapeutic team that is important yes. I think they're both valuable it seems to me that the original thinking and the kind of ref times that Tom Anderson and his colleagues would choose to do a reflection 
would be where either they or the therapist felt that the system, which was therapist plus clients, was getting stuck. Yes. And the reflection would be up to that system, not into the therapy. Yes. It would be about the stuckness of therapist plus clients. And so for that moment, they um, held the position that the therapist belonged with the family system. Yes. And I think that's very, very valuable. Yeah. As as I think that it's also valuable for the therapist to say, I only half belong with you, I also belong with this other lot. Yeah. Um, again, I think they're valuable. I think changing rooms is valuable because it becomes a ritual that has meaning. Mm -hmm. The team coming into the room is about and going away again. They're all Things useful. Different. Yeah. I think where for me it becomes not useful is it becomes absolutely routine. Yes. And then you get stereotyped. Yeah. Uh, any of these things do. We used to have all these fantastically ritualized prescriptions from behind the scene. Um, I remember Peter Lang thinking that he wanted to invent some sort of laser that could go, remember he used to be a clergyman, go <laughs> through the screen and right on the opposite wall. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they're all lovely uh, yes. till they become habit. Yes. And then they're, they're not so useful. Yes. So it's about how we keep our curiosity going all the time. Because for me, if you say what what is the main thing, it's curiosity in the proper sense of that word. It's the uh, the phrase I often use for myself, or also in consultation, is that I need to meet uh, people in the professional work as if I'm a Martian anthropologist. Yes. So not to assume that I know anything about. Yeah. Um, but to be curious about how is it, how is it that they do what they do? How is it that um, we're going to go forward together and all of that? Yeah, which is a very easy thing to say, but very difficult to do. Fantastically difficult. Yes. Because I mean, it's again <coughs> talking about Milan. It's why in the early days they ritualized their ways of working yeah. um, with sessions quite far apart. Um, with that movement of therapist between family and team because they had the view that inevitably over time therapist and family would form one new closed system which would be quite available for getting stuck. Yes. And so what they said all we can do is delay it. And they used all those ritual things to try and delay it. Yes. That's pretty. Yeah. Because once 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 you lose that, you lose curiosity. Yes. You start assuming that, that you are in this reality. Yes. And that you know what's going on there.